Welcome back to the topic microservices and centralized logging. Today we will discuss how to create data backup in Elasticsearch. Here is the steps below. So first we will configure Elasticsearch. So this requires Elasticsearch to be restarted. Then we will configure snapshot repository. Then we will create a snapshot and then we will restore the snapshot. And I also discuss some of the points. Uh, few points this is uh, very helpful let's go to the elastic search configuration first here is my elastic search and here is my data backup directory okay remember you need to uh, you need to have a backup directory which uh, which is visible from all the nodes from your cluster otherwise it will not work so if you have multi-node cluster there should be a Shared directory so data backup directory should be a shared directory let's go to the configuration if i open the configuration and uh, and the bottom so you need to place the data path repo is basically your mount point or the shared directory here i already configured that's why i am not putting uh, once again so you see that the data uh, is data backup uh, the directory and uh, i already restarted uh, elastic search uh, with that configuration and also restarted kibana let's go to kibana uh, if i go to management and then uh, under elastic search you have snapshot repository so click on snapshot repository and register a repository and i need to give a unique name that is es backup it could be any name so let's select the shared file system click on next yeah now i need to give the uh, file shared file system location so here is the location so just copy from here and put over there that is my location and if we have uh, uh, other additional uh, things if you require computation you can do it in computation by uh, enabling that chunk size you can mention otherwise default size will be uh, taken and uh, yeah others are also yeah some of the things are also optional so you can register the repository click on register yeah you, you can see that uh, and you can also verify the repository click on verification yeah uh, that uh, repository is connected properly now i need to uh, create the data snapshot so for that you can use either curl query the standard documentation is there in in the elastic search documentation or you can use the dev tool so if i go to dev tool here i can create the uh, snapshot repository let's create the input put call uh, first i need to uh, give the snapshot uh, yeah it's a snapshot yeah it's coming snapshot then i need to provide the name what is the name we put es backup that is the repository name we have put and uh, we need to provide the snapshot name let's say my snapshot my data my data is a snapshot name so if i click execute that it's accepted that means all the data uh, is uh, backed up in a particular so if you have uh, data uh, the must it is data is here the uh, it's not much uh, in volume so if you have a lot of data it will take some time initially and let's see what uh, exactly is there so uh, if i if I want to get all the snapshot, uh, what are, are there, then if I get it, get, and uh, here is my snapshot name. And inside my snapshot, if I see that there are four indexes, okay? There are four index, sorry, there are three indexes. One is Kibana Task Manager, and is a customer service and kibana dashboard one and this is my name and uid if i go to the uh, data folder if i let's say uh, data backup 
to see that data uh, backup directory created and also uh, you see that data is in encrypted format okay now if i check uh, from uh, uh, from the management if i click on snapshot repositories then this is the backup name and i can also find the uh, data repository name as well so here i saw three indexes and the start size is three by default elastic search uh, creating a single shirt and one another is the replica uh, here we have three indices that's why three shirts data backup only the primary shirts data backup uh, is uh, happening here uh, so if i now uh, I, again i go to dev tools now you can uh, you can delete it with the name my data backup what is the backup name uh, let's uh, go once again uh, here is the uh, if i go to snapshot depositories if i click on uh, my data okay so i will uh, i'll show you how to uh, how to uh, import the data so if again i am going to dev tool so it's a post call uh, let's uh, post it uh, yeah snapshot and uh, i need to give that snapshot name okay and uh, then i need to uh, put the restore restore and then i need to put the indices because there are three indices uh, we have the primary indices we are interested on that the customer uh, service and other two indices is uh, basically for kibana related so if i take from this uh, i need to put the this in the customer index and um, and the renaming so i'm just renaming that pattern to my app services because this customer index is already there so it will create the flag over here okay so if you import i mean importing the data to a fresh environment then it should not be a problem this uh, this one is fine absolutely fine okay or you indices you can uh, mention all the indices in the uh, fresh environment so if i execute that it accepted now if i go to uh, management and then uh, index you see that that app services the data is loaded uh, from the backup uh, so there are additional things are there i mean that uh, data backup there should be uh, one thing you need to know that uh, in elastic search documentation it says that data backup happening incrementally uh, so it does not mean today i am taking data backup and tomorrow i am also taking the backup so tomorrow will data will have only the tomorrow's data it's not like that that is for elastic search only let's say uh, elastic you are taking that data backup today and um, uh, it will take the uh, data backup for today or till date if the first time you are doing and then tomorrow if we are taking the data backup then the whatever the delta uh, delta uh, amount of uh, log or your data that means after today how many data records created that only be backed up but the tomorrow whatever the snapshot you have taken that will have all the latest data even if you delete the previous one then uh, it should not be a problem because your current one will have all the previous data so that is very this point need to be remembered remembered so according to that you need to plan your memory sizes okay uh, in the backup directory and uh, if you if you have a size constraint then what you need to do you need to delete your data from the index and then you need to take the uh, data backup so i have discussed already in another video how to uh, uh, how to delete data from the index and how to regain the memory thanks for watching this video is a part of a video sheets based on the
topic microservices and centralized logging if you like this video then please like share and subscribe the channel